Hi everybody, this is Liam again from Running Remote and Time Doctor. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to basically take your company remote in a very fast amount of time. The coronavirus obviously is something that we are all quite concerned about and we recognized at Running Remote that the faster that we can get people working remotely, uh, the faster that we can slow down the spread of this virus. So if you haven't watched the previous video, go back and check that one out. It gives you a broad introduction about who I am and what the heck is going on here and why you're watching this video. But now we're gonna get into the very specifics of the actual applications that you're gonna set up in order to actually deploy remote. So first off, let me just give you a short introduction of remote work. Uh, remote work has been something that's kind of existed for pretty much since like high speed internet. If you can do a Skype call as an example or a Zoom call online so you can see someone's video and you can have an interactive video call, you can basically work remotely. So as internet speeds have increased, so has the proliferation of remote work. I'd say realistically, it's been about 15 to 20 years that remote work has been technically possible. However, it's really only started to blow up in the last five years. About 4% of the US workforce works full-time remotely, and that's projected to be 50% by the year 2027 in one study and 2028 in another study. So definitely a growing trend. And regardless of whether or not you're here because of coronavirus or because you're just really interested in remote work, you're gonna get some really good actionable information from me on exactly how to take your company remote. So how is remote work different from on-premise work? This is the biggest thing that I think people need to get their heads around when they're looking at remote work agreements and how to basically work from home. The biggest thing that you have to take into consideration is communication and documentation. And we're gonna be getting into that in future modules, which you'll be checking out in a very short amount of time. But basically, there's a very different kind of way of communicating remotely versus in person. So if I had someone right next to me and I had a problem, I could literally turn to them and say, hey, how do I do X? But when you're remote, when someone is either in the next city, the next uh, block, the next country, it's a lot more complicated to be able to do that. So what you need to be able to have in place is very concrete communication processes, and then also secondarily, uh, really concrete processes as well. There's also a ton of advantages to remote work that a lot of people don't really recognize. Remote work is the single biggest thing that you can do for your employees to be able to improve their uh, state of mind. It's the single best perk, particularly for millennials. People below the age of 30, about three out of five of them, that's their number one request is to be able to work remotely. So if you have young people inside of your company, I'm sure they've been chomping at the bit to actually deploy a work from home policy. So we're gonna be going through that uh, in a later module as well. And also, more importantly, we have some disadvantages towards remote work that I need to really prepare you for. So. Remote work has some, um, some mental impact, particularly in the case of coronavirus, we're probably going to be seeing a lot of people that are gonna be working from home in a forced manner. And that's something that we really wanna be able to make sure that we protect against. So you need to be able to make sure that you're checking in with all of the employees that are inside of your company. What's their mental state? How are they feeling? Are they happy about working remotely? How could you make them a little bit happier about working remotely? These are all really important pieces because fundamentally, uh, specifically when you're forced to do something, it's usually not the best uh, place for you to be able to actually get enjoyment out of this process. And for me, I've been doing this for 15 years. I love it. I wouldn't work any other way other than working remotely. It's by far the best business model uh, that I've discovered in terms of not only employee efficiency, but also just employee happiness. But we're gonna be talking about some basic applications that you're going to need to deploy in order to actually work remotely. So. I'm gonna go over the basic ones here, and if you wanna get a little bit deeper into those, you absolutely can. We'll actually have some extra training that you can link to right 
here, uh, specifically on how to look at some of these tools in a deeper way. We might put together a little playlist for you guys so that you can kind of go through that. And if you want to look at all the different applications that are available, you can. But it basically just comes down to documentation, meaning how do you write down what people are doing, uh, project management, meaning what are all of the aspects of a project that needs to get accomplished and then who are the people that slot into it in order to get that project completed and then communication. So how do you actually communicate effectively in order to make sure that everyone knows what they're doing and they're all on the same page and you can get what you need done. So let's actually talk about communication first. That's super important. Um, you can really just boil this down to about four separate tools that I would suggest that you check out. So the first one is for just instant messaging communication, which basically means like, if you have Facebook Messenger, if you have um, WhatsApp, if you're texting somebody, that's an instant message that you're sending back and forth, obviously. The two biggest products on the market right now are Slack and Twist. So Slack and Twist, in essence, accomplish the same thing which is it's an application that you put onto your computer or your mobile device, and it allows you to be able to bring all of your em other employees into that application. And what you can do is you can create small sort of chat groups inside of that application to be able to talk about anything. And then it also brings in a whole bunch of integration points. So let's say as an example, you had a software company like the ones that we have at Time Doctor, and we had uh, support tickets that were coming in. You could do an integration with your support software where every time a new ticket request comes in, it could push to that particular chat group where all the support people are. So then someone from support could literally click on it and then basically slow down the feedback loop or speed up, I guess, the feedback loop in terms of responding um, on a ticket. So Slack and Twist, what I would suggest that you do is go to their website right now. We're gonna link them down below, but it's twist.com and slack.com. It's pretty easy. Check out both of them. Uh, we actually do have links below for both of those. So just, you can go and check them out. Let us know which one you're interested in and maybe just put it down in the comments below. I'd love to be able to see which one you deployed or if you're already using one of those, either tell me is it Slack or is it Twist that you're currently using. That's generally um, instant communication. Now, project management, there's a whole bunch of other project management tools that we could kind of touch on for remote work, but I think the fastest and easiest one for you to deploy right now is a tool called Trello. So Trello, in essence, allows you to be able to create a whole bunch of columns, and inside of those columns, you can break down a particular task. So let's say I was going to make some YouTube videos for a course on how to work from home uh, due to the coronavirus, like I have right now on my Trello board. I would be able to describe each video module and then break down all of the sub points that I'm gonna talk about inside of that particular Trello board. And then I can assign that to people. So currently it's assigned to me. And then after this video is in production and actually is finished being shot, then I'm gonna send it over to my video editor. The video editor will actually already have the script. Then it goes on to the, and these are just columns, right? So you'd have like writing the script, then it's like shooting, then it is editing, then it is posting it up on YouTube, and then it is sending it to you. And again, if you're an advanced remote worker, this is probably 101 for you, but for a lot of people that don't kind of understand this process, project management is something that usually inside of an office just kind of like automatically happens because you just pass it around and you have direct conversations. Remember, if you're working remotely, it's much more difficult. Communication is much more purposeful. So you need to actually have a very clear project management system in place. Trello is free. Uh, so what I would suggest that you do is check out Trello. Another honorable mention is Basecamp.com. Uh, that's one that we use. And then we also use another application called Jira. They'll all be linked down below. But if you're interested in uh, using any of those, please let us know down in the comments. And if you're already using a project management system, please also let me know down in the comments. Also, if you would like me to be able to do a full tutorial of how to set up Trello, please let me know. I'll then communicate that right down below. The last two tools that we're gonna talk about are um, time tracking and documentation. 
So time tracking, uh, obviously I'm a little biased. We run a time tracking company called Time Doctor. And what Time Doctor in essence allows you to do is to be able to measure any particular task. So we have a task list of everything that we're doing inside of the company. So right now I have shooting video course and that's a task that's currently on my computer. And then I'm measuring exactly how long it took me to be able to shoot that particular course and then I can report that back to my manager or to my co-founder or anyone else inside of the organization. We share all of our data, it's inside of Time Doctor, so everyone knows what everyone else is doing. And that allows you to not only know what everyone else is doing, so as a company owner, that's one of the biggest resistance points towards working remotely is what are my employees doing? Are they on Facebook or YouTube all day long? Well, with a tool like Time Doctor, you can very clearly identify exactly what they were doing and how long it was taking them to be able to accomplish it. And then secondarily for you as an employee, it allows you to actually measure your own productivity. So how long did it take me to actually build this course out? What were the implications of building the course? Did I get stuck at one point and I had to spend a lot more time? All of that data can be managed and measured with a tool like Time Doctor. So timedoctor.com is the URL, we'll have it down below. If you are using Time Doctor, please let me know down in the comments below. But if you're using something else, also please let me know. I'd love to be able to know what everyone is using for time tracking if you have not deployed something yet. We're gonna be using Time Doctor moving forward for everything else and all of the tools that I mentioned. But if you're using something else, it's in essence the same thing. And then the last tool category that I suppose I'm gonna talk about is process documentation. We use a tool called Trainual, and what Trainual allows you to do is it's basically like a manual and a training guide together. Training, manual, Trainual. I think that's the way you say it. It's pretty cool. So what it allows you to do is create a online database of absolutely everything that you do inside of your business. So this is something that we need to get all of your employees starting to implement basically today is what are the big things that they're responsible for? What are the biggest things that they do throughout their day? And what's absolutely critical to keeping your business up and running? Is there a certain person inside of your company? We call it like sacred knowledge. Is there only one person that knows one thing that if they're sick for the next two months, the business will no longer function? It's absolutely critical that you make sure that you know what that information is before that person gets sick. So that's what Trainual is going to help us do. Uh, if you're not interested in buying Trainual, you can also have a free version of basically a kind of like a Trainual type of application, which is just Google Docs. So if you sign up for a Gmail account, or if you already pay for Google Apps for Business, Google Docs and Google Spreadsheets are online documents, so you can basically outline exactly what's being communicated on those documents, and then you can give those process documents to other people inside of your company. So I know that was a lot of information. We're gonna get this video out as quickly as humanly possible. The action points that I want you to take, and it's gonna take you about 30 minutes, is I want you to go to timedoctor.com, install Time Doctor. I want you to go to trainual.com, install Trainual. I want you to go and check out Google Docs, and I want you to either look at and or install Slack or Twist, and actually, and the last one, which is super important, which I think I completely left out, is video communication. I realized that I just left that one out. So there's two major platforms that you would wanna use, either Zoom or Skype. So a lot of people probably know about Skype, it's a free option, so if you are uh, interested in a free option, Skype's probably the best one on the market. Zoom, however, is a significant improvement to Skype, and basically what allows you to do is, number one, the video quality is significantly higher, and then there's a bunch of other features like integration points where if you create an online calendar meeting with somebody, you can automatically push them your Zoom link so that they just know exactly where to meet you. But both of those tools uh, are possible, so either install Skype or Zoom, and I'll be agnostic on that one. Uh, we're gonna be going through Time Doctor directly, Trainual directly, uh, we're gonna be going through Trello directly, and we're gonna be using Slack, and we're gonna be using Zoom. 
for the rest of this training. So if you want to download those, go ahead. If you don't want to download those and just kind of go through this course with me, uh, that's fine too. However, it's really important that you take action on each separate module because they build off of each other. Again, if you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments below. Uh, that way I can get back to you as quickly as possible. Either I will personally respond or someone on our team will personally respond. Again, this is free. So for us, we have to really make sure that we have the spare capacity in order to do it. But I'm hopeful that I can get back to you uh, within a few minutes because we usually have one or two people that's always manning the comments uh, down below. And if there's anything you didn't understand, ask it down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next module.